Hey guys, Jessica Damo here, and today I'm doing a very special video. So, I know I don't get to do videos as often as I used to. I work a lot. Ever since I got healed of a incurable uh, disease three years ago, I have been like working hardcore and making a living and, you know, trying to get life back in order because I was ill for 15 years. That's another video though. So, because I work really hard, I bought myself an X1C Carbon Bamboo Lab printer. And I should probably do more videos about this. Uh, I call it Gundam Factory. really like this printer. This is a great printer. Obviously, you know, if you want to do Gunpla and stuff, probably resin printing is better for you. But, I'm not there yet. I want the best... FDM printer, or at least one of the best ones on the market. And I am about to start a very special project. It is literally just drawing the uh, practice lines for it. And I have this thing set on the highest settings that I could find. I mean, I'm sure I'll figure out how to tweak them better because I've only owned it for like a month or so, maybe two. But I'm building a 118 scale core fighter that will transform, the wings will fold up, the weapons will pop out right there and there, and it will fold up to go inside of a 118 scale Gundam if I so choose to print one, which I haven't decided yet, but 118 scale core fighter. Why? Because the GMG figures are 118 scale, and in theory, this will fit right inside. A friend of mine uh, has already been working on this project, and I found the project on uh, Thingiverse or Colts 3D, and I was like, hey, you should consider this. And they're like, oh, I'm working on it. And they sent me a pic, and they're like, yeah, scaled up to 240.05%. I memorized it. <laughs> and so I was like, awesome. So just think, in due time, this figure, and in theory, even this, will fit inside the cockpit of the core fighter that I'm printing. I suppose maybe I should have seen if this already fits in there, but uh, that part's printing later. Yeah, you know, not worried about it. Um, trust my friend's references for this project. I wish I could be like, yeah, yeah, this will be done printing in an hour. And it, honestly, I don't know about an hour, but it could have been done in like three hours or something. And uh, for these first phase of parts, I can't build everything on this plate. Um, but like all the blue parts, that's what's printing right now. And um, after that comes the red parts or the white parts. And then I got to buy gray filament still. I'm going to get an AMS soon so I can print in multiple colors. Either way, blue parts are printing today. I'm very excited about it. And yeah. I probably should have more to say than that, but I'm, I'm pretty tired because I work all the time. So I've set this on the highest quality settings. It's going to take three days, five hours, and 16 minutes to print the blue parts. And you don't want to know how long the red parts are going to take to print. That's going to take a while. Days and days and days. Uh, so it's probably going to take me, I estimate, about uh, two or three weeks to print the entire core fighter in 118 scale, but I'm doing it at the highest quality print settings I can possibly do. Um, so in the future I might find more tweaks, but yeah. I'm pretty stoked about this. I'm pretty stoked about this. It's happening. And I'll show off the progress as it happens. See you guys later.